Hey guys, James with Gamecast here. Today I'm going to be doing a special review with Batman, my little black cat, and we're going to be looking at Soma for the PlayStation 4. So, if you would like, continue watching and see whether or not you would like to pick up Soma yourself. Survival horror is almost synonymous with frictional games. Developer of the popular amnesia, The Dark Descent, has come up with another title in the same genre. Soma is available on the PlayStation 4 and PC at a modest $30 price point. Being familiar with games like Amnesia and Outlast, I knew what I was getting into as far as the type of horror that was in store. So if you were looking for a game like Five Nights at Freddy's or Evil Within, take your cursor off that Add to Cart button because you will probably be disappointed. Now, if you would like to widen your palette of horror-based games, then by all means, give it a try. With the type of game out of the way, mechanics are another important part of any horror game. Pretty standard controls as far as the game is concerned, accessible to even the most casual players, and easily picked up after a long break between plays. And as with many of these games, there is little to no combat, which isn't a bad thing. Instead of facing the darkness head-on, you are forced to be stealthy and think on your feet, really earning the survival in survival horror. The game allows you to interact with an array of objects in your environment, from clues that allow you to piece the story together a little bit better, to meaningless objects left around to make the world feel more real. It always makes the player want to explore more. I felt that in Soma you weren't rewarded for going off the beaten path. Sure, you would get the occasional note or photo, but most of the clues were left out in plain sight. And most of the time, when I would go look into other rooms or follow a different path, it would lead to a dead end. And that wouldn't be all bad if I already didn't know that the way I was going wouldn't progress the story along any further. Collecting the random photos and notes allow you to piece the story together just a bit more, but overall they were very underwhelming. They gave insight into characters that I didn't care about or seemed like they were thrown in to give the player something to look at. The environments that you do explore look amazing, which is another reason that even though I didn't feel it added much to the game, overall I continued to explore to see what was created. I honestly feel the game looks beautiful, and while not the most polished piece of gaming software, it has a dark and gritty world that is alive with color. Much like watching The Spirit or Sin City, the colors contrast and complement the world they are introduced into, adding to not only the overall beauty of the world, but the psychological horror the game is designed to emit. The world alone is enough to elicit the moniker survival horror. Enemies that accompany the world are, for lack of a better word, scary. Their designs are grotesque and coupled with the environment and guttural utterances, it's enough to make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Now, I do suggest playing this game with a headset or surround sound. It really adds to the atmosphere and allows you to fully immerse yourself in the world. So if you are able to, I would highly, highly recommend it. Lastly, touching on the plot of Soma without giving away any spoilers. For me, the game was kind of predictable after a certain point, and I even turned to my girlfriend and told her what I thought would happen, which ended up being one of the big plot twists. Now, it doesn't detract from the game, though. Having a very well-written story, albeit a story that has been told time and time again. Though, this time they added a bit of a spin on it, which was a relief to me. The voice acting and writing were really good, in my opinion. And it honestly allowed me to extend my suspension of disbelief even longer than most games. The biggest flaw this game has is the insufferable loading times. Maybe this is just something that plagues the PlayStation 4 version, but if you were going to sport a seamless gaming experience from one chapter to the next, please be sure to lessen the load time. At those points, my suspension of disbelief was shattered by that little pulsing brain scan in the lower right hand corner. Other than that, I felt that Soma was an immensely fun experience with an interesting story that I would recommend to a avid horror gamer add to their library. Once you get past the load times, or they patch it up like Bloodborne, it would be a gem, just like Amnesia. Thanks for watching Gamecast review of Soma for the PlayStation 4 and the PC. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and comment below with what you think of Soma. And if you haven't already, subscribe for future reviews, let's plays, and other unboxing videos that we may or may not do. 
Check out Gamecast Rewind for those Let's Plays that I just mentioned. I believe CJ and Dennis are currently playing Spider. And if you want to check out a new, cooler channel, check out Alligamer. We really appreciate all your support. You guys, take it easy.